I'm out here at Site Broncos today. Figured it was a good day to come check it out. It's like 60 degrees. It's actually kind of warm. Uh, but I've been here for, I don't know, 20 minutes. I just got my first decent sounding uh, target here. Besides a harmonica reed, I dug one of those on the way in. But this thing came up in the f like 54. I don't know what that would have been. Looks old though. Um, like I said, this site Broncos here, there used to be a house up here in like the 1850s. So, I'm gonna swing around and see what I can find. Okay. Right there I found an iron buckle. The only problem with this site is I don't have a clue where the house was exactly. Uh, there's a foundation back there but I believe that was the barn or the garage. So I'm just kind of guessing here. Okay, I'm definitely on the right track. I only moved about two feet from where I found that buckle. Uh, I found an iron nail, and that's the top to a oil lamp. The wick adjuster. I just uh, came in here in this flat spot. Well, it's not real flat, it's kind of flat, but I figured it was the best place for a house. So I might be headed in the right direction. I don't know if I mentioned I got the 75 and I'm in uh, all metal mode, sensitivity 85. Right there about four inches deep, I found a handle to a, it's probably a knife. It's thick and heavy. It's not silver, it's just silver plate. But that's all that's left of it. So that's pretty cool. That's definitely from the house. Okay, right here I thought I had another one of those uh, pipes, but it's not. I think it's from a gas gas line or something like that, even though it's really decorative there. It's pretty neat though. Right there, I just dug the back to a watch. Okay, I just found a, the innards to a pocket watch right here on the surface. And then underneath of it I was getting a foil signal, so I figured I better check it out since I just found that there. It turned out to be this little buckle. Probably doesn't go to the watch, but... Unless it was like a strap. Who knows. Or like the chain that held it on to your vest or something like that. Eh, who knows. Pretty cool find though. Because I'm having a slow day. I haven't found a single coin yet. I'm finding a ton of shotgun shells.
right there I just dug up two big chunks of metal that were giving me an overload and then underneath of that I was getting a 30s like a nickel signal actually but it turned out to be a big lantern piece uh, I guess that's what that is okay and there's like these big piles of rocks here doesn't look like foundation stone so I don't know what it is there's some up there beats me Oh my god, guys. Okay, I just talked to you right there. I found that lantern top piece by that pile of rocks. Three feet away, I was getting a nice dime signal. Based of some little sapling tree, I, all these vines, I stuck my coil up under in there and I was swinging around and I was getting a nice dime signal. You can see maybe like three, four inches deep. It's not a dime, but it is something great. I don't know what that is, like a some kind of buckle. I was cleaning it off and I was like, wow, I better be careful, that's still got a lot of plating on it. And then I flipped it over and I rubbed that back part right there. It says Sterling 925. Fine. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. And you can see the front's got like some kind of little, maybe like a monogram or something. That is a freaking awesome find. That is amazing. All right. right here I got another, like a 40s and 50s signal, sounded pretty good. Turns out to be this. Another, I guess that's like a suspender hook. See it's got some fancy on it. Wow. Got a little nice little spot right here. Okay I'm gonna keep swinging. Okay right there basically on the surface I got a winder to a either a clock or a music box. Okay, these piles, they must be like remains from the house. I don't know, you know, if they piled it up after it fell down or what, but, because right here, I just found a iron. There's pottery, china everywhere pieces of glass bottles down there. A couple more pieces of iron I set up top of this pile. Right there about five inches deep I found the remains of a pocket knife. It's really toasted. There's like no iron left actually. Oh crap. All right, next. Just found another pocket knife. It's all toasty too, of course. Dang. Wish it still had the scales on it at least. Oh well. Okay, right there under that root, I had to fight to get this thing out of there. But somehow I did without breaking it. It's some kind of tag. Looks like it has a name on it, and then Burgett's Town, and then something at the bottom. I don't know what that is. I was hoping maybe it was a carriage license. It could be, I don't really know. I'll clean it up better when I get home.
Okay, right here I found another one of these picks. That's a nice one. I'm getting quite the collection of those. I'm gonna try to take it. Though my pack's getting kind of full and heavy. 